Right, so today actually I'm going to make a quick video about this question. I think this is one of the SPM question for for 2014. Yes, and this question is I think it's quite challenging for the SPM student to do this kind of question. Yeah, so I just make a quick video on it. So f the first one is yeah, from the equation itself, do you see something like okay, y equals to ax? All right, from the equation y equals to ax square. No matter what is the values of the a, the first thing come to my mind is this. This one should be the, uh, should be the equation like this, and then because it's a x squared, so do not have b x plus c, right? So, so this equation trying to tell us that actually, yes, their minimum point it will always at the origin zero zero here. Yes, so this is what first information you must get, uh, get the, uh, you must get the idea actually yeah when you do not have bx plus c you only have ax squared means the minimum point yeah the minimum point actually is, will always at zero zero All right of course if a is positive our graph will, will look like u if a is negative our graph will look like n but obviously over here yeah that gives you some information is like yeah this is side elevation of the inner surface of the bow which can be represented by this equation so basically this one will be the equation so from here uh, the another information we will got well since this one will be always center on the zero zero right so yeah, just let me draw another line which I call it y acid alright so the center over here will be zero zero okay they were passing to the origin O so obviously here we got x acid here Right, so in order to find a, the easiest way to find a is actually we substitute one of the coordinate of the curve. Do you see a red color curve here? So I want to find a coordinate because here is thirty centimeter, here is thirty centimeter. So I know that this corner, this coordinate is actually called thirty and thirty. All right, so in order to find the a value, the easiest one we just substitute the thirty into the y and thirty into the x. Right, so yeah, you have got a will equals to thirty over nine hundred. So which is a will equals to one over thirty. Alright, then yeah, then you can write Sean because this is what they want in the part A. They ask you to show the a equals to one over thirty. So this question is is, is quite hard if you couldn't understand about uh, the pattern of the y equals to ax square because if you couldn't get the idea, okay, this graph will always the minimum point or maximum point they always passing through zero zero. Yeah, it's very hard for you to do. And at the same time, yeah, the centimeter and the uh and the unit in the graph, you have to assume they are the same. If not, you can't do also. Alright. So this is just part A. Part A I think is quite simple. So yeah, same thing. Yeah, we go to the part B. I think part B is just the integration, just the integration topic. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So yeah, because this one only can record for fifteen minutes, so I need to be, I need to be fast enough to actually yeah, I just erase part of it. Alright, so the second part asks you to find the volume. Okay, he asks you to find, determine the volume of the water needed to fill the bowls to the depths of twenty centimeter. So I know the total height over here will be thirty centimeter. So twenty, I just assume is somewhere here. Alright, so this one will be twenty. So means I need to find the volume for this one. So if you want to find the volume, of course, if you know th this is cylinder, whatever you can use a cylinder formula. But in this case, because this is a graph, so first thing is I know actually yes, this in order to make this curve become a volume, I need to rotate three hundred sixty degree on the y axis. I need to rotate three hundred sixty degree in the y axis, and then my range is actually from zero to twenty. Alright, since y axis this one will be dy, and then here will be x square, and I need to add a pi, yeah, in order to get the volume. Alright, so you just substitute whatever you have here. So since we got, uh, we got the equation which is y will equals to, uh, y will equals to one over thirty, x square. So x square is just equals to thirty y. Alright, so I yes, I can just substitute in here, which is thirty y. Right then, dy then equals to volume. Right, so I left the pi outside. So this one, if I integrate, it will be quite simple. It's just thirty y square over two. Then this is two zero, 
equals to a volume. Of course, you solve this one, you can easily get this is 15, right? 1, 5. 1, 5 multiple, 1, 5 multiple of 2, 2 is just 4. So, will be 4 will be, yeah, 60. So, the answer for volume will be 60 pi cm cube. Alright, yeah, this this is one of the SPM question in 2014. I think this one is belong to paper 2. Yeah, I hope yeah, this short video at least will give you some idea what is going on. Yeah, hope you enjoy the video.